in and there's an update in the Atik Ashraf murder case. The police remand for all the three accused shooters is over and they were sent to Pratap Gadi jail last night. Now, sources to CNN News 18 have confirmed that with the police being uh, police remand being over, interrogators have more reasons to doubt the presence of a missing handler behind the trio. Now, there have been no answers to when they met, came together as a team and executed the killing. The police also went to the hotel where the three stayed with dubious Aadhaar cards. The police is now considering requesting a poly polygraph test of all the three accused shooters. CNN News 18's Pranshu Mishra is joining us. Pranshu, can you give us more details about uh, what lies next for the three accused shooters in the Atik Ashraf murder case? We had been telling our viewers since very early that the three uh, shooters in this case, they might be novice in the world of crime, but they clearly uh, seem to be you know, attempting to shield someone, shield probably the handler or the godfather or we can say the common missing link between the three people and that's the reason why, you know, uh, apparently bogus stories of getting uh, the murder weapon that is a sophisticated 9mm pistol from a gangster who has been shot dead in December 2021, that itself had seemed very illogical. The second point was that, you know, who is who is the person who has actually brought them together? So what we were hoping was that, you know, in the four days of police custody remand, probably the investigators will get some idea about it, but it seems that all those efforts have failed. The uh, three assailants have been sent back to Pratap jail yesterday evening, and so so far, the mystery remains unanswered, after which the uh, the interrogators are increasingly becoming of the view that these people clearly have uh, someone whom they are shielding, the missing common link, and therefore in the near, near future, the possibility of only for a, a light detector test that becomes very, uh, you know, very, very strong. Also, Pranshu, what, uh, what has been revealed by the three accused shooters uh, during the interrogation that took place during the during their police remand? See, what we can tell is that uh, the attempts to find out the missing common link, that has gone in vain. So uh, it seems that all the three assailants, they are trying to misguide the cops. They are trying to misguide the interrogators, not willing to tell some wider points. See, three points here are very important. Who brought them together? when they were brought together and the purpose of course is very clear but the point is that who is that person who is that you know uh, uh, that, that important person or, or, or the godfather like figure who has given them proper intel who has assembled this team who has uh, who has empowered this team with sophisticated weapons so on that point all these three interrogators seem to be towing a line which probably has been fed to them that in case you are arrested this is the line which you need to say that you got the the, the weapons from someone who is no more in this world to actually you know uh, uh, Cross, with whom the, the, the arguments or the allegations would be cross-checked. That's the reason it seems that these shooters are clearly trying to steal someone and they are actually stating uh, on the scripted lines. Probably that was fed to them in case they are arrested, what lines they have to say. And therefore we can say that this so far, the four days of questioning has failed to come out with anything concrete as far as the peak and Ashraf murder case are concerned. All right, Pranchu, thank you for those details. We'll keep tracking this story for more updates. As of now, we're slipping into a very short break, but there's more on the other side. Stay tuned.